Welcome. Today's scientific question is, what in the world is electricity? And where does it go when it leaves the toaster? Here's a simple experiment that'll teach us an important electrical lesson. On a cool, dry day, scuff your feet along the carpet, then reach your hand into a friend's mouth and touch one of his dental fillings. Did you notice how your friend twitched violently and cried out in pain? Yeah. This teaches us that electricity is a very powerful force, but we must never use it to hurt others unless we need to learn an important electrical lesson. This also illustrates how an electrical circuit works. When you scuffed your feet, you picked up batches of electrons, which are very small objects that carpet manufacturers weave into the carpet so that they will attract dirt. These electrons travel through your bloodstream and collect in your finger, where they form a spark that leaps to your friend's filling and then travel down to his feet and back into the carpet, thus completing the electrical circuit. So here's an amazing electronic fact. If you scuff your feet long enough without touching anything, you would build up so many electrons in your finger that it would explode. But this is nothing to worry about unless you have carpeting. Today, people tend to take their computers and lights and radios and such like that for granted. But hundreds of years ago, people didn't have any of these things, which is just as well. There was no place to plug them in. Then along came our first electrical pioneer, Benjamin Franklin, who flew a kite in a lightning storm and received a serious electric shock. This proved that lightning was powered by the same force as carpets. But this also damaged Franklin's brain so severely that he started speaking only in incomprehensible maxims, such as a penny saved is a penny earned. Eventually, he had to be given a job running the post office. After Franklin came a herd of electrical pioneers whose names have become part of our electrical terminology. Myron Volt, Mary Louise Zamp, James Watt, Bob Transformer, and so on. Now, these pioneers conducted many important electrical experiments. Among them, Luigi Galvani discovered, this is the truth, that when he attached two different kinds of metal to the leg of a frog, an electrical current developed and the frog's leg kicked. Even though they were no longer attached to the frog, which was dead anyway. Galvani's discovery led to enormous advances in the field of amphibian medicine. Today, skilled veterinary surgeons can take a frog that has been seriously injured or killed, implant pieces of metal into its muscles, and watch it hop back into the pond where it sinks like a rock. But the greatest electrical pioneer of them all was Thomas Edison who was a brilliant inventor, despite the fact that he had little formal education and lived in New Jersey. Edison's first major invention in 1877 was the phonograph, which could soon be found in thousands of American homes, where it basically sat until 1923, when the record was invented. But Edison's greatest achievement came in 1879, when he invented the electric company. Now, Edison's design was a brilliant adaptation of a simple electrical circuit. The electric company sends electricity through a wire to the customer, and then immediately gets the electricity back through another wire. And then, and, and this is the brilliant part, sends it right back to the customer again. This means that an electric company can sell the customer the same batch of electricity thousands of times a day and never get caught because very few customers examine their electricity closely. In fact, the last year that any new electricity was generated was 1967. Today, thanks to men like Thomas Edison, Nikola Tesla, and Benjamin Franklin, and frogs like Galvani's, we receive almost unlimited benefits from electricity. For example, in the past few decades, scientists have developed the laser. 
an electronic appliance so powerful that it can vaporize a bulldozer 2,000 yards away, yet so precise that doctors can use it to perform delicate operations to the human eyeball, provided they remember to change the power setting from bulldozer to eyeball.